Hello class, I am Professor Emily and today we are going to be learning about non-core tones. Okay, so let's just jump right in. What is a non-core tone? I'm glad you asked. A non-core tone is when there's a harmony, there's like an implied harmony, and this note, this tone, doesn't fit. So it's like a homeless tone and we are giving it a home and we're giving it a name and it'll live a great life oh i got a text message how unprofessional so sorry <laughs> so it's like these in between notes and they can bring lots of really cool dynamic into the uh, music and they can make it uh, cool music textures and make simple drab music a little more interesting. We will be talking about a few different kinds of chord tones. It'd be a passing tone, a neighbor tone, an appoggiatura, an escape tone, and a changing tone. Let's start with the first one, a passing tone. So a passing tone is approached by a step and then it resolves in a step in the same direction. These are my hand motions. Works for me. Sorry if it doesn't work for you. I'm happy if it does work for you. So it resolves in the same direction. So I can go this way or I can go this way. Um, so I don't have a keyboard or a whiteboard, excuse me, not keyboard, a whiteboard, but I do have a notebook and it has ledger lines. So. Let's just dive right into these examples here. So right here is the passing tone example. We have this circled note right here. That's the non-chord tone. So when you label these non-chord tones, you circle it and you label it with the abbreviated whatever. So there is this F chord and a C chord. And so the passing tone is the B flat that goes in between them. And it's passing right on up. Okay. Next, the neighbor tone. So the neighbor tone is approached by a step and then it's resolved in a step in the opposite direction. Neighbor tone example is this right here. And so we have this um, F and it, there's the neighbor tone right here and it goes down to an E and then it resolves back up to this F. And that's the neighbor tone. All right, moving right along. The next non-chord tone that we're going to be talking about is the appoggiatura. The appoggiatura is approached by a skip or a leap, and then it's resolved by a step. The appoggiatura. This is the example for the appoggiatura. It's a fun word to say. You can say it and you found sound um, fancy. You have this A, and then you leap up to the E and then you resolve to a D and that's the appoggiatura. You see the motion that's like woo woo like that. Next, the escape tone. It's like a cool action movie. <laughs> okay, the escape tone is approached by so oh and think of the escape tone as like the opposite of the appoggiatura. So escape tone is approached by a step and then resolved by a skip or a leap. Back to the examples. So this, gotta get it in the shot. Okay, so this is a escape tone. We have this A and then you step up to the B and then you skip or leap back down to a G to resolve it to the G. You circle it, label it an escape tone. Final non-chord tone is called a changing tone. So a changing tone is when a chord moves, a chord tone first moves by a step and then to a skip, and then it resolves back to the original chord tone. It's like this. Ooh. They don't always sound like that though. Let's get this in the shot. And right here is our changing tone. So we have an A, and then we step up to the B, and then we skip back to a G, and then resolve to the same that we started with, which was an A. And that is our changing tone. You circle the two in the middle because these two notes, those are the non-chord tones. Those are the ones that don't fit, that don't have a home. But we're giving them a home. Okay, 
And that was a lesson in non-core tones. Um, stay safe and stay healthy.